Hey there everyone, this is Danielle, taking a first look at Ikenfell, or Ikenfell, or however this game is pronounced. Um, I've had a housemate pronounced, I'm not sure if either of us were doing it right, so we'll see. <laughs> anyway, this is an indie game, uh, it was released just a few days ago. It's, um, an, an, I, it's an RPG about, like, witches and stuff at a magical school, so... Kind of like like a little witch academia, um, but it's an RPG, and I like RPGs, and I like magic, and let's check it out. Um, let's go. <laughs> I don't know a whole lot about this game. I think it's got cats in it. I like cats, and probably like a like a pixely sort of art style. I think. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, that looks pixely. Developed by Happy Ray Games. Humble Games. Yeah, it's published by Humble, uh, like a lot of indie titles these days. Okay, um, options? What do we got? Music on, music volume, sound effects, stretch to fit. Uh, I might leave that off. You can see you can get it into widescreen if you want, but I'm going to leave it off. I think it looks a bit better like this. Uh, controller vibration, vibration intensity, 360 degree movement. I assume you can turn this off so it's like playing with a, um, arrow keys sort of thing. Photosensitive mode. Content warnings. Oh, these are very good accessibility options. Uh, let's try switching some of these on and just see what effects they have. Uh, letter sounds. If text plays sounds when it's typing out. Timing mode. Battle actions will always be nice. We can attempt to manually get a great. Battle actions will always be great, so no timing is required. Uh, basically, this game uses action commands, like the um, like the Mario RPGs, but I think more complicated. Um, and it looks like you can set it to automatic and just get the, the best timing. If, if you have trouble doing the timing, you can skip it, basically. Uh, I'm going to leave it manual. I tend to like this sort of thing. Bug Fables does it. I like it in that game, too. Uh, if enabled, battle menu will contain an action to trigger an instant victory. Wow, that is an interesting accessibility option. So you can basically skip any battle if you turn that on. Huh. Auto run, will run while having to hold down B. Uh, I'll leave that on default. And kind of camera shake. Yeah, there's a lot of accessibility stuff in this menu, and I'm impressed with that. Um, let's start the game and see what we get. Ghostly Grove. Music. Uh, I couldn't quite read that. <laughs> Marit? The trail ends here? You've got to be kidding me. Did I take a wrong turn? Okay, so I'm playing as this person here. Can I go back? I guess their name is Marit. Uh, let me see. B button? Yeah, I can go a little bit faster if I hold the B button. That's B. That's not B. Doesn't matter how far you tilt the analog, it's always the same amount, so you may as well use the D-pad, I suppose. You do have uh, full 360 degree movement unless you turned it off, so there is that advantage with the analog stick. B buttons run, I assume A will let me interact with things. Y button does nothing, the shoulder buttons do nothing, minus does nothing, plus and X both open this menu. It can fill, should be somewhere around here. Items, equipment, party, map, options, main menu. What, what have we got in options? I guess it's the same options menu. Uh, if I go main menu, uh, I don't know if it's saved or not, so I'm just gonna... Oh, hello. Ah yes, magic trees. No big deal. It can fell must be close. Sound design. Oh, I see, it's giving me credits as I will... Oh, that's cute. You found firewood times one. I guess that'll come in handy. Oh, she's moving on her own. Sorry, they're moving on their own. Marit, another dead end? It's late. I guess I'll camp out here. At least there's lots of wood to make a fire. Press A to search objects and pick up any items you find. Uh, let's see. Let's grab this.
We need some more wood to build a fire. Okay, because I don't have enough yet. Um, did I miss some in the previous room? Yeah, I did. Guess I have enough now. There we go. <gasps> Kitty. Oh, hey there, cutie. Good plan. I'm starting to have regrets about coming here. My sister is probably fine. I bet she's just up to her usual trouble. She did tell me that there were cats all over Ickenfell. Apparently that's not unusual for a witching school. But it might mean I'm getting close. Hey, what's got you so spooked? Oh dear. What? What? Who are... Scree! Ah, my ears! Be gone, ordinary human. Th that noise, please stop! You are no witch, no wizard. Uh, I know I'm not, but... Ickenfell is no place for ordinaries. Now be gone. But my sister, she is a witch, and... You will leave here, willing or not. Engage. Make some fighting? In an encounter, your goal is to defeat the opposing team. Everyone takes turns moving around and performing actions. This is the turn order so you can see who goes next. You'll want to keep an eye on this to avoid any nasty surprises. Now it's your turn. Move to your desired position. Move around with the arrows and use press A to confirm. I don't want to go too close in case, like, uh, they attack me on their turn, but I don't know how what their range is. Uh, if I stand back here... This is your action menu. Use the arrows to choose an action and press A to confirm. If you want to move to a new position, press B to cancel. Oh, I see. Skills. Hit single target with a solid stone. Item, end turn, view units, run away. Uh, okay, I can only throw a stone so far, so I need to move a bit closer. I need to stand here, actually. Once you've chosen an action, use the arrows to choose a target and A to confirm. If you can't reach a target, you can press B to cancel. Uh, the leader uses Ghost Star. Oh, well, that's not good. The dancer uses Ghost Star. I I'm in trouble. I don't think I'm supposed to be able to win this. It looks like it it's not something I'm going to be able to do my current abilities. Watch out, your HP is getting low. Move to your desired position. Uh, you can heal up using an item from your inventory. Uh, let's just back up a bit. Like, let's retreat over here and then use an item. Small mushroom. They have much better range than I do, and they have better attacks than I do. I don't think I'm going to win this one. Ugh. All in a good day's work, fellows. <laughs> I love scaring him off. She went up a fight, though. Let's take her out of here before she gain regains consciousness. Things are strange enough at Ickenfell right now. We can't afford surprise visitors. 
Got it, boss. Wait, what was... Oh. Oh, I'm in the Avatar state, okay. Ow, ow, ow! What is this? What have you done to me? Boss, was that... Sorry. Ma I think I said magic? Indeed it was. But magic I have never seen before. Girl, why didn't you say you were a witch? I'm not a witch. I've never done anything like that before. What's happening to me? I didn't know being a witch was contagious. <laughs> I... I can't say. It's just completely unprecedented. And really cool. I agree. Can you do it again? Uh, again? I can't... Please, indulge us. Okay, so... Oh, I see. I have more abilities now. I have a spell called, Ign called Ignite. I think if I stand here, it'll hit all of them, right? Oh no, it only hits one, one target in range. Okay, so I'll just step back a bit more. I don't know what the correct action command is yet. What fierce magic! I think I just press A when the circle gets to the middle, but I'm not sure. Did you see that oops though? It's because you missed your hit timing. Try once more. Alright, watch carefully this time. When you cast the spell, you should see a red ring. Right now, press the A button. Nice. If you time your spells correctly, you'll get a nice or a great. Nice does more damage, but great is the most powerful. I'm guessing they mean nice does more damage than oops, but great does even more. That's, that's weirdly phrased. Every spell has different hit timing, so pay close attention. Oh, press the A button now. You can also use hit timing to defend against incoming attacks. A nice reduces damage, but a great means you barely get scratched. Every enemy attack is unique though, so pay close attention. Move to your desired position. Uh... Is this too far away? Yeah, it is. <laughs> Stupendous job, my dear. What a strange power. Your magic is so cool. Does this mean I don't get to do the spooky voice anymore? Victory! Boop. Small mushroom, red mushroom. Incredible sh showing, incredible showing, young one. Let me introduce myself. I am Eok, captain of the Ghost Legion. The woods around Ickenfell can be dangerous, strange magic and all. So 
so our job is to keep ordinaries from venturing in. My... my name is Marit. Do you know what's happening to me? Why can I do this? I have absolutely no clue. Many strange things have been happening around here of late. It started not long after the students left for summer, and the school is currently under lockdown. That explains why Safina never came home. We, we never got word. I was worried, so I travelled here to find her. Ah, the Hildegard girl. She's quite famous in these parts. You are her sister? I am. Do you know if she's okay? I'm sorry, there's been no word from Ickenfell since the lockdown. But sometimes students stay at the school during the summer. Saf always comes home. She would have told us. Will you let me through to Ickenfell so I can find her? Uh, hmm. I must think on it. Rest here for the night. We will stand guard so we'll be in no danger. Chapter 1, School of Magic. <laughs> mm. Good morning, young Marit. Yok, you're still here. So it wasn't all a dream. Of course. Do you still wield your newfound powers? See if you can light the fire. I didn't press any buttons to do that, it just sort of happened. I guess that also wasn't a dream. I've decided we'll let you pass through to Ickenfell. I hope you find your sister in good health. But also, it is a school of magic. So you might also find an explanation for your sudden powers. Thank you, Eok. I will open the way for you. Unfortunately, we cannot escort you further. The headmistress herself assigned us to stand guard here. It's okay. I can make it the rest of the way. There is just one thing. To open the passage beyond here, you must light two lanterns. A spirit residing within them observes all who pass through. Got it. May the great raven guide you, young fire witch. Okay, um, I guess the cutscene's done. Do I have full health at the moment? No, I don't. I wasn't healed when I slept. Uh, oh, there's a map. I don't know if I'm supposed to know all this yet. This seems like it's kind of a spoiler. <laughs> uh, I got my party. There's Marit. Uh, Ignite's the only ability she's got so far. I can change my equipment around at some point. Can I give her the pocket knife? I can. Let's do it. There we go. I don't know why that would make her magic more powerful, but I guess it does. <sighs> Be careful out there, young fire witch. Who's to tell what your strange new magic is capable of? Oh, this is a shop. I can buy things. Uh, what do you have? You have the clothes I'm already wearing. You got some better shoes, maybe? Are these better? No, they're, they're worse. Uh, they have better speed, but worse... No, better defense, but worse speed. Hmm. I don't think I want that. Can I use the fire and heal that way? No. Where did Dancer get off to? I want to sneak up and scare him. <laughs> uh, let's go this way, maybe? Um. I was hoping the rest would heal me, but it didn't. Oh, there we go. Oh, you found me! Please don't tell Creep where I am. This is my favourite spot. I like to be alone to practice my dancing. I'll even give you something special I found. You found Sparkly Gem. 
It's a sparkly gem. A gem master would trade an arm and a leg for one of these. Okay, so I can exchange that for money later. I uh, can't go any further back because of the magic trees, so... Onwards, I suppose. Forest of Secrets. Kitty. Where are these lanterns? Where are th the? Where are these lanterns Eok spoke of? Scenes can be skipped by holding down the plus button. Hello, Kitty. You pet the cat. Its purring relaxes you. Your HP is restored. Oh, save pro. Oh, that's adorable. You heal and save by petting a cat. Oh, that's beautiful. Game of the year. Game of the year confirmed. Uh, so these are the lanterns, right? There should be a lantern here. Oh, these are the holes the lanterns go in. So we've got to find them first. Okay. Uh, don't want to fight you? Yep, let's go. Move to your desired position. Uh, let's back up a little bit. Uh, let's try... Here, I can't get close enough to hit them, so I'm just gonna wait here for them to come to me. Mouselings. Victory! More experience into small mushroom. Oh, some money came out too. Alright. Uh, there's another mushroom. Oh, it's a person. Hello, mushroom person. <laughs> Can they move? Or is it... And my range isn't good enough to hit anyone from over here. Few units. Bolet, four out of four. Can I... No, I can't press the button on them and get more information. I was hoping I could. Uh, I'll send turn here and let them approach. Okay, they can move. They're moving now. Mushrooms. Uh, there's a treasure chest here. Full of red mushrooms. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Uh, oh, hello. Something's happening here. Uh, it's like a sort of a maze going on that you can't see. Interesting. I'm hoping I get a, a spell that hits multiple people when I level up because that's kind of one of my big weaknesses at the moment. Uh, let's wait here ish. Wasn't sure what the timing on that was. Hadn't seen that move yet. There we go, now I know what it is. Oh, he gets back again? Huh, that's handy. Must have just had two turns in a row for some reason. Okay, deal with. Victory! Oh, level up! That increases my health. Learned a new spell. 
fireball. Okay, I'm guessing that'll be really helpful. Find a rock seed. Don't know what that does, but I have it now. Does leveling up heal you? No, it doesn't. Uh, let's just give myself a small mushroom. There seem to be plenty of those around, so I can probably afford to give myself one every now and then. There's another room with one of these weird invisible mazes. Okay, so what does Fireball do? Let's find out. Deal lesser damage to multiple targets with a series of fireballs. Oh, that's good. Okay. Uh, let's wait here. Let them get a bit closer. Hmm, because of the way they're positioned, I can't actually hit them both in the same spell yet. Okay, now I can hit them in the same spell, right? Pick it. Yeah, good. I wonder what the action command for this one is. So, okay. Coolio beans. Victory! Small mushroom times two. Okay, so you do have to go through this way. Silver ring. Moldy shroom. That sounds unhealthy. Oh. Oh, is that the lantern? Oh, you found me! Hee <laughs> hee! Or half of me, at least. You got one more half to find, though. I guess I found half a lantern or something? I don't know. Oh, I see. Good luck finding my other half. Hee hee hee. Is the other half the blue thing? Is that what I'm looking for? Maybe. Now let's just throw down a save, which will also heal me. Mew! <laughs> oh, that's adorable. I'm not sure what the timing is on that yet to get a great. confusing. Um, yeah, we beat them, we get some experience. I think I might have got more experience because I beat them in the same spell, like a combo sort of thing, which is interesting. Red mushroom. Uh, what do we got going on here? Are these things like, well, oh, little springy mushrooms. Okay. <laughs> uh, da, 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 da. Oh, it's a bit of a weird puzzle, but okay. Uh, this one? Yeah. So I'm not sure what the correct timing on that is. I 
It's like a little bit of practice, I'm sure. That's okay, though. Victory! <laughs> Hotberry. It's a hotberry. Increases power by two for three turns. Can be used in battle. Oh, I see. And the rock seed does the same thing with defense. And the moldy shroom decreases defense. Can I use it on an enemy? Or, like, do I have to drop my own defense and therefore it's a bad idea in most cases? I don't know. Oh, evil rocks. Uh oh. <laughs> Try to attack me, are they too close or something? Okay, yeah, I've got the timing down now. It's a little little tricky to figure out, but I've got it. So we're good. Doo -doo -doo. Let's grab all this little bits of money. Common coin. Is that just did that just become money or no? No, it's here. A collector's item of no use but worth a small amount of gold. Okay, so I gotta sell it to someone. Interesting that there's no equivalent to First Strike, even though this is very otherwise very similar to a Mario RPG in terms of how like the action commands and stuff work. I think if I stand about here, yeah, that's, a, that's the spot. Oops. Yeah. Experience for me. Low HP. Oh, here's a little thing for you. That's really nice. That's helpful. There we go. We'll be fine. Do 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 do. Okay, that middle chest is a mimic. You can see it's moving. Oh no, it just had a lantern in it. Oh, you found me. Maybe I should have found a better hiding spot. I guess there's just one last thing to do. Rock seed again. Fast locket. Is that an equipable item? It is. Let's see what it does. Oh, the silver ring's equipable too. Increase gold drop by enemies. Or increase my speed with the fast locket? Hmm. Let's go for make getting a bit more money, I reckon. Hello, kitty. <laughs> okay, I've got both of you now. Well, I guess you made it this far. Now the real show begins. Do I need to fight the lantern? <laughs> Thank you, darling. I'm all back together again. Wanna pass through to Ickenfell? Come, let me have a closer look at you. Gwehehe. <laughs> oh, look at you. So full of conflict, yet burning so bright. Normally I just let folks pass through. 
but things have changed. I'm feeling all charged up. Let's make this interesting. Yep, fight time, let's go. Um, I don't want to get too close. Let's try stay staying here for the time being. Okay, and it creates more little fires and things. The flame explodes, damaging anyone next to it. Oh, okay. So I, I want to hit it with flames like this. What? That attack belly even scratched it. Maybe there's another way to deal more damage. I think there is. I think I have to make the fireballs explode at it. I think I figured that out already. <laughs> um... 20 health, my goodness. Uh, I guess I'll use this because nothing else to hit at the moment. Is it working? I can't really tell. Uh, a few units. 11 health. Yeah, it's working. It's working. It's just a bit slow. Alright. Eat a little mushroom. Oh, that damaged me? Was I too close? I guess I must have been. Victory! That's what I said. <laughs> okay, that was notably a bit harder than before. Great work, darling. Now off to magic school with you. Because it was that way the whole time. Mew! <laughs> Road to Ickenfell. 
There's another kitty. North Ickenfell, South the Stock and Barrel. Is this just a pile of those guys? It is. Oh, that's adorable. I'm not sure what the right timing for this is yet. Um, okay, now there's three little guys. Hooray! Victory! <laughs> oh, oh, level three. So much room to get a new spell. Not this time. Eh, that's okay. Let's put up my stats a little bit, right? Yeah, my stats have gone up a little bit. Hello, kitty. You pet the cat. It's purring relaxes you. <laughs> uh, let's go this way first. I want to see what's down here. University Village. And some kitties? No, these are chickens. They're not kitties. Out in an errand. We'll return later. Stock Omfrey. Alright. Go in here. The door is locked. But this building feels oddly familiar. You gonna attack me? Yep. Let's go. Yeah, my base damage is a little higher than it was. So that's cool. I think here will work? Yeah. Front door is locked. Is the back door unlocked? It is. I figured out the puzzle. <laughs> oh, what do we got in here? Is there anything I can interact with? It doesn't look like it. I'm pressing A on all this stuff and nothing's happening. Maybe I meant to come in here later. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, another blobby thing? Which alt do I have? 15, I should be fine. Interesting, yeah, there's no sort of first strike ability like you would have in... Actually, Super Mario RPG didn't have one either, but all the Paper Marios did, all the Mario and Luigi's did. It's kind of weird to not have it. Okay, that's how you do it. You time for when they hit the ground. Back up to about here, right? Yes.
Hello. I'm scared to even go outside these days. Everything is weird around here. Luckily I don't have to go far stock up on stock cider. You found fire poker. Am I allowed to take that? Yeah, apparently I don't mind. Okay. It's just, it's just an RPG. You just steal everyone's stuff and they don't care. What to do? It increases my power by one. Yeah, that's good. Thank you. Pink seeds. Uh, what do they do? I'm guessing they're in here? Restore 10 HP to a distant party member. Can only be used in battle. Oh, okay. So you can heal other party members only. Using the pink seeds. That's really interesting. And only in battle, of course. Interesting. Oh, it made it through the woods. The gate to Ickenfell is near. I can feel it. I'm really enjoying this. Still closed? Yeah, I, I assume that'll open up like once I've been to Ickenfell and I've done a bit more of that part of the main story. You pet the cat. Mew. It's just, I wonder if increasing my speed lets me move farther per turn, as well as making my turns happen more often. Because that'd be really useful in this, like, very positional battle system. <laughs> Victory! Hello little hopping bird. I'm a flying bird and a hopping bird. Ah, uh, the bird shoots fireballs. Okay. If you say so. Hello kitty. It's a bit rude that you have to wake up a sleeping cat every single time you want to save. <laughs> if you think about it. <laughs> oh, hang on, something here. Oh, yeah, I knew it. I'm smart. I'm smart and I know things. Red earrings, black bomb, rare gem. Let's see what these things are. Uh, the rare gem, I'm guessing we just sell it to someone. We had wonderful things for it. Oh, okay. So I'm guessing maybe it's like, um, like a star piece or something, you trade it for like a rare piece of equipment. I'm just guessing though. Uh, equipment... Oh, uh, we got those earrings now, are they good? They make you more powerful but slower than the silver ring. The fast locket boosts your speed quite a bit more. Black strip does nothing as far as I can tell. Um... Let's leave things as- uh, let's try the fast locket and see if it makes my movement better, actually. Because I'm curious about that. Hello, buddy. No, that's the same amount of distance. Maybe I need more movement than I have in order to actually go further? I don't know.
yeah. Money, money, money. <laughs> Hello, little flame bird. Oh, it's my turn again? Okay. Um, if you say so. Probably look at the turn counter thing more often to get an idea of what's about to happen. hat. Oh no. Mine. What? Yeah. Witch hat. Mine now. Thanks. But that's my sister's hat. Sister? Don't see her. Guess it's mine then. Ugh. Let me go. As you wish. Ooh, what a jerk. My hand is burning? So people have new magic too. Oh, so people have new magic too, not just creatures. New witch sticking your head into ha hats it don't it don't belong in. Stay away from this beret fray. I would not like for you to get hurt. He stole Safina's hat. What was that all about? So this is Ikenfell's outer wall, huh? But Safina would never leave her hat behind. Looks like the gate is just up ahead. Oh, it looks like there was something happening here because of the gap in the trees. It looks like there's a gap, but no. Nah. That, is, that has happened to line up that way, I guess. So this is the gate to Ickenfell? It doesn't seem to go anywhere. What do we have here? It's making a strange noise. S Safina? I can hear her voice. But it sounds strange. Younger? Ooh. What was that? Sorry, what was that? Everything is... fuzzy? Oh, whoa, this is weird. I can't go that way, I have to go this way? Okay. Oh, uh, excuse me, are you a ghost too? She doesn't even see me. Ah, this place is so weird. What is going on? It's Safina. I can't... I can't wait to learn some cool magic. Safina. You're... Why are you so young? 
him. Welcome to Ickenfell School of Magic. I see you have all donned your new uniforms. The clasp in your cape bears Ickenfeld's insignia. It is enchanted and will protect you within these walls. Now reach deep into the pockets of your coats, as deep as you can. My whole arm fits inside! Now what do we have here? Oh what? Some bottles and pens? Boring! Each witch and wizard has their specialty, magic they excel at. But potions and enchantments are core tools for every spellcaster. You have been provided a basic kit for learning these essential skills. <laughs> Who cares about that boring stuff? Psst, hey! I can't wait until I can turn invisible. I'll be able to sneak around anywhere I want. Hey, what's your name? It's Petronella. Please shh. I don't want to get into t trouble. <laughs> You're pretty cute. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, this is gonna be great. M. Oops, sorry, Miss Miss Hildegard. Yeah, that's me. Call me Saf. Miss Hildegard, I know it is your first day, and you were very excited. But please contain yourself, at least until we, inside, we are inside the walls. Now, this gate may not look like much, but it is... Yeesh. Psst. Hey, Petronella. Who's the crotchety old lady? Wh who's the... You don't know? That's Headmistress Ieldra. She runs the school. Now, shh. You are now, now witches and wizards of Ickenfell. Let us enter. Whoa, magic! Can, can I go in too? Saf, wait! Oh no. What is happening? Is this a memory? A dream? All this magic is just trying to mess with me. I don't get it. But maybe I can find another way inside. Okay, so the gate doesn't work, it's just a regular gate. Okay. Um. Oh, there's people. A flying hat? What will they think of next? They told us something strange was happening at Ickenfell, but that sure took me by surprise. I wish you would take this more seriously, sir. The forest is out of control. Something strange is happening here. Bax, you need to relax a little. They sent us to take care of it, and we will, as usual. And please don't call me sir when it's just the two of us. Oh, hello there. You must be a student. Um, actually, I... Iben? Iben? Iben Oxley, at your service. And my exceedingly handsome compatriot here is Bax Twyford. Oh, cuties. But you probably already knew that. Um... Sorry, I've never heard of you. R really? Well, if you've been paying attention to the magazine covers, you'd know. Yours truly is the most powerful wizard in the coven. Baxir is here is here to assist me on a secret mission for the coven. I told him I was fine on my own, but he insisted. Sir, it's not a secret mission if you tell everybody. Don't be a fuss, it's nothing I can't handle. 
Wade is here to find the headmistress and a red-haired girl. Hmm, red hair, teenager. And she doesn't know about the famed Ibn Oxley? Definitely suspicious. Wait, you say you're looking for a red-haired girl? I'm a genius, Bax. We found one of our suspects. Hmm. I've heard she's one of Ickenfell's most talented students. Let's have a little duel to see what she's capable of. So I don't think that's... You can hang back, Bax. Let me handle this one. Oh, wait! Oh dear. <laughs> so do I want to attack Bax as well, or just Ibn? I don't know. Looks like they're both playing. Prepare yourself for my ultimate attack, the Oxley Special! Wait, was that it? Even, please, do not exert yourself. Oh, it's like a healing magic or something? Yeah, it is. So am I supposed to be attacking Bax because he keeps healing Oxley for more than I can deal? I mean, I guess I can. Oh, indeed. <laughs> Got one experience for that battle. What is your strange magic, girl? I've never seen anything like it. Yep, I knew it. She's not our girl. I just had to test her to be certain. Let's go. We have to find a way into the school. It was a pleasure ju it was a pleasure dueling. It's a good thing I went easy on you. My magic is actually much too powerful to be fighting children with. I'm not a child. Wait. Are you looking for Sorry, no time for autographs. I have a secret mission to attend to. Gah, please don't just vanish without me, sir. Ugh, is everybody like this in the magic world? But why are people looking for my sister? Safina, what have you gotten yourself into? Oh yeah, I figured I had to go that way. I noticed there was a tree. Oh! Okay, that gets me back to here. That's still locked. Oh, hello. Who are you? Oh, I guess you're... Uh, whoever it was, Stock? The stock and Barrel. You're home away from home. Stock and Barrel. Uh, are you sure you can finish that? I'll trade drinks if you want. Don't patronize me. I can empty a cup as well as anyone. Buddy, it's larger than you are. Cute. Hey, kitty. 
Hello, kitty. You pet the cat. Its purring relaxes you. Mew. It's locked. Oh, who's this? Hey, Red. Long time no see. M me? Oh, I'm so sorry. I thought you were someone else. You do look a lot like her. Since we haven't met, let me introduce myself. I am, sorry, Zane? Jane? I I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Uh, let's say, let's say Jane, the gem witch. My sister told me about you. She spoke of a witch who can turn gems into magical items. Correct, and I'm setting up my I'm setting up my trade in Ikenfell for a while. But ever since the monsters started appearing, I haven't been able to do my craft. You seem well travelled. Can I ask you for a favour? Perfect, let me explain. Ikenfell is full of magic gems. Shiny ones, sparkly ones, rare ones. Even if folks find them, they don't know what to do with them. That's where I come in. With just a few gems, I can work wonders. If you find any, bring them to me, and I can craft you something wonderful. Turn magic gems into useful items? Sounds good to me. It's bad form to set up shop in someone else's establishment, so I've set myself up a cozy little gem trade just outside. Come visit me when you've found some gems for me to work with. Someone's sniffling. Hello. Oh. Oh dear. Okay. Uh, there's a hat in here. You found warm snug. Somebody crying? Can I get in? I can't get into that room. I, I want to help them. See what the problem was. Can I bash through this wall to get to them? No. <laughs> oh, I hope they're okay. <sighs> now what? You're looking a bit lost over there. Can I whip whip you up something? Uh, it's Marit. Uh, thank you. That'd be great. That ought to do the trick. Wow. <coughs> ah, it's got some fire to it. I call it Hester's Breath. Named after the storybook dragon, of course. Do the witches around here all like spicy drinks like this? Most of them. One of Vickenfell's students actually came up with the recipe for this one. In fact, she looked kinda just like you. Let me guess, Safina Hildegard? The wild child herself. You related? I'm her sister. She's gone missing and I came here myself hoping to find her. Ah, but now the school's all closed off. I don't know where she is or if she's even still in the school. Oh, Petronella might know. Petronella? Savina's friend? Petronella was visiting the barrel when the school shut down, but now they're stuck out here with the rest of us. Is Petronella still here? Third room down the hall. Oh, she's the one sniffling. Oh, sweetie. But last I saw them, they were looking pretty glum. Good luck to you. Wait, did they say they instead of she? Oh my goodness, that's exciting. Let's keep going. <laughs> We're at an hour, so I should probably be wrapping up soon, but I, I, I want to see them. Let's go. Uh, Petronella, is that you? <laughs> Who is it? My name is Marit. I'm Safina's sister. 
I'm looking for, and was hoping you could help me out. S Safina's sister? The door unlocks. Content warning, self-hate. Oh, oh, sweetie. Y you're... Um, Patronella, right? Uh, are you all right? I'm really sorry to bother you, but I'm worried about Safina. I think something happened to her. So you and Safina met in your first year, right? She's quite the handful, but she usually means well. Are uh, you really Safina's sister? <laughs> Take a look at me, it's obvious, isn't it? She talked about you lots when she came home every summer. Nell never likes any of my plans, but they come along anyway. She says you're an amazing alchemist. Is that like potions and stuff? Y yeah. She's said that? Yep. She said she'd sneak out of the school all the time, dragging you along. Y yeah. At first I was so scared of getting in trouble, but it was always nice to hang out here, away from the other students. I... I don't know where Safina is either. We have a secret way in, but it only works for Safina. And now I'm locked out and I can't find her and... <laughs> hey, it's... I'm so useless. I got stuck out here on my own. I'm such a useless f fool. Don't say that. You're not useless. I am. I always have been. I can't do anything w without Sav. I'm a ho horrible friend. Oh, maybe that's what you think, but we're both still worried about Sav. You said there's a secret passage you two used? Do you think you could show me where it is? <laughs> maybe, but... I know, you said it only works for Sav. But I know my sister better than anybody else, so maybe I can figure something out. The passage is in the tool shed, outside the inn. Do you want to come check it out? Wait! D don't leave me here. I'll go with you. Please don't leave me alone. Of course, let's go. Saf had the spare key to the tool shed. Stock the innkeeper has the only other one. Hmm, alright, maybe he'll let us borrow it. Petronella joins the party. Let's have a look at our party now. Oop, party. Petronella, level 3, bubble snap. Acid splash. Interesting. Oh, they're so precious. Uh, they're also level three. I don't know if they're automatically the same level that you are, but that would make sense. Have a little bit more health than me. What equipment do they have? It's a warm snug. It makes you more defender, but slower. Give you the silver ring because you weren't wearing anything. Hmm. Oh, if it isn't Petronella. Where it got you out of hiding, I see. Uh, hello, Mr. Omfrey. So thanks for letting me st stay here. 
You and Safina always keep me company on rainy days. We were, um, hoping we could borrow your tool shed key? My tool shed? That's where Safina's secret passage to Ickenfell is. That explains it. I wonder how you and Safina were always visiting off hours. We weren't... we d didn't mean to... Don't worry, I'm not gonna rat on you. I got... I got up to all sorts of trouble in my own school days. The key is in the cellar. But there's some strange magic blocking the entrance. I haven't been able to get down there all day. More strange magic. Here's the deal. If you two can clear up the entrance for me, the key is yours. Deal. We'll see what we can do. Oh, before you head down, I picked up some new supplies if you need them. Hello, kitty. Meow. Your sister was always good company around here. You're always welcome at the stock and barrel. What stuff do they have for sale? Mm. Nothing super good. Yeah, it's not, for some reason they can't use the same weapons. They have to have different ones. I don't really understand why, but... Is that like a wand or something? And then that one's actually a stick? I don't know. Uh, let's head on down, have a bit of a look. This... what is this? He said strange magic, so I thought it might be like this. I can take care of this. What was that? Magic, at least I think. I've been able to do it ever since I got near Ickenfell. I've n never seen magic like that before. You never had magic before now? No. I think all this magic stuff might be why Ickenfell is shuttered. D do you think Saf is okay? We both know she's been in worse spots than this. Come on, let's find the key. Find that key. Do, 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 do. Cellar. Oh wow, it's worse than stock thought down here. It's all sorts of magic going on. My goodness. Do, do, do. Hello, ghosty. Okay, there's two of us now, so we can do more. Imagine the enemy's gonna get tougher too, though. What sort of abilities do you have? Vanilla? Our chemical bubble pops on a ranged target. Splash an area with an acidic concoction. Yeah, that sounds good. Oh, I see. It's, it's that shape of... That doesn't quite help us. Uh, we better just do this then. I don't know what the action command is yet. Swap turns or something? I don't think so. Hmm. Okay, that's not too tricky. Oops.
Kaduk. Oh, I can't go this way. Oh, the door is locked. That's probably the way we come back once we've been through here. Oh, there's a big one. Taking quite a bit of damage here. Hmm. We're going to do this. Uh, stand back a little bit, though. Yeah. Whoa. Um, I don't like that. come back? Yeah, they came back. Okay. Probably at like one health now. That's usually how this sort of game works. Yep, one health. Acid Splash is only in a straight line like that. Oh, I really need to get some more spells for this gal. Uh, this person, sorry, not gal. Oh, that worked. This thing have anyway. G units? Eight. Yeah, it's not a lot really. We sent too much damage. Level four. What do we get? More health? I think that's attack. Learn a new spell? Motivate. Interesting. Uh, we're coming up on an hour and a half now, so I'm just going to try to wrap up this uh, cellar area and then call it a video.
Oops. Motivate yourself or an ally, raising power for one to three turns. Interesting. Let's go to try. Oh, you gotta be close. Um, stand here. Oops. Thanks for all standing in a line like that, that's super helpful. some problems. I don't think I have anything that resurrects a fallen ally yet, and there's a whole lot of monsters there. Hold out as long as we can, I guess. See how we do. Ooh. Um, two units? One health, one health, two health, okay. Go back to the last cat. Oh, restart battle. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm picking up what you're laying down. Okay. <sighs> Could have at least hit the action command that time. Try to do motivate again and see if I make it work this time. That's more like it. Pretty much the same as last time. Hmm. Okay, they're gone. Oh, God. Oh god. Uh, let's run over here and eat something. Okay. Oh no, are they gonna... Oh no. This is not good. 
Um, this is real bad. Uh, I can't have to splash in like where I am, and I can't move. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to splash this direction. This is very bad. Oh my goodness. Um, okay, I'm gonna call it there. I'm gonna retry from the last save and maybe do better next time. Oh, hang on. Load from save puts you at the start of the room. Okay, that's that's actually really nice. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's just run back to the cat so we can heal uh, by petting a cat. And let's, give, let's just have some thoughts on this game, huh? So yeah, um, I love it. <laughs> it's super adorable. Um... And like, unless I'm missing things here, we have non-binary characters, which is fantastic. Um, the visuals are super adorable. The accessibility options are like really, really great. You, like, you know, if if it gets too frustrating using the timing, I can change it to semi-auto or even full auto, and it'll be much easier. Uh, you can turn on victory option in order to skip all battles if you want. You got auto run. I'll turn that on actually. I assume you press B to walk. Yeah, you do. Actually, that's better. Okay, cool. Um, uh, yeah, it, it looks really good, and I'm excited. Uh, you got all the, you know, JRPG sort of equipment system. You got a bunch of different items, all sorts of stuff. Um, this might sound kind of weird, but I think this is how Origami King should have worked, because that game, you know, it had a sort of positioning-based puzzle battle system. This game also has a positioning based sort of puzzle battle system, but with actual stats and strategy and unlocking new abilities that have different attack patterns as you play, and those are things that would have made that game a lot more a lot more engaging. Because um, this one is a lot more interesting. Like, the battles are compelling, and you get experience, and you get better at stuff, and you know, you've got all this different equipment, and I'm, it's just it's just really cool. <sighs> I like this game. I'm gonna enjoy this game. Uh, were those stairs always there? Oh, this is the gem trader. Okay. Okay. Okay, I'll, I'll come to that in a moment. <laughs> uh, that's probably about it for this video, really. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, I like this game a lot, and I'm going to enjoy it, and I think it's super adorable that you save by petting a cat, and I think it's a super adorable game in general, and I love these characters. Petronella is baby, and I will protect them. Look at that, sweetie. They are so precious. And and here's Marit. Marit's baby, and I will protect her too. Um, I wonder if maybe this screen should have like a pronoun section, just... Because, you know, you've got characters who use they, them. It would be helpful to have a little reminder there. Um, I'm not planning to forget, but, you know, someone might. And it might be helpful to have that information on the, on the screen. And there's a lot of... There's, a lot of there's, a, there's room on the screen. Like, you could put it next to the level there. Or next to their name at the very top. Uh, unless someone has a really, really long name, that'll work. Uh, that's... Um, yeah, about all i got to say. I think maybe the map is kind of revealing more than it should about where we're going to go. Like, I can see, you know, all this stuff inside the school that I'm not supposed to be able to get to yet. Mm, but, mm, I don't know, maybe that's just deliberate. Um, I don't know if it's going to stay this way, but I like the really small numbers. Um, I talked about how Bug Fables has these small numbers as well, and Thousand Year Door has these small numbers, and... It makes combat really predictable and um, a lot more like reliable in terms of how much damage you do and how much you're expecting to do and things like that. It, it's easier to math hammer. Um, and I think those games work really well that way. I don't know if this one will stay like that or if the numbers will just skyrocket as we level up, but at the moment they're staying really low and that's interesting. Uh, we are gaining a little bit of uh, attack power as we level up. So it's possible the numbers will skyrocket, but it's also possible they'll stay in roughly the single digits, maybe climbing up to 10 or so. Um, we'll see. Oh, there's a separate move stat. I didn't notice that. So speed would be like when your turn happens, move would be how, how many spaces you're allowed to move on your turn. Okay, now that makes sense. I mean, sort of. 
if you, if you think about it, speed and movement is sort of the same thing, but it's all right. <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, that's Ickenfell. Uh, it looks super great to me, and I'm going to really enjoy it. And heck yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so cool beans. Bye.